What's up guys, Coach Casey here. So just a quick video to explain how to calculate blocks of food in a zone prescription. So the yeah, Dr. Barry Sears was the founder of the zone diet and it's essentially a great place to start for most people because it's a balance between carbohydrates, proteins, and fats and something that you can mathematically adjust easily as time goes on. So we're gonna start off with what is a block of food. So a block of food is gonna be seven grams of protein plus nine grams of carbohydrates and one and a half grams of fat. So for every one block of food, it's gonna be protein, carb, and fat. So, so uh, let's do the math. Now, you, uh, now in order to calculate this, you're gonna to need to know exactly how, about how much body fat percentage you have. You can estimate it, but ideally you wanna use some type of device or some type of uh, objective measurement, whether it's uh, impedance analysis on a scanner like an in-body or doing some type of hydrostatic weighing. Uh, if you really wanna go all in, you can always do a DEXA scan. Um, but either way, you need to know the approximation of how much body fat you have in order to really get an accurate idea as to what we're working with. So, so let's say we have a 200 pound athlete. So, and this athlete has 10% body fat. So that means 200 pounds, 10% of 200 pounds is gonna be 20 pounds. So he has 20 pounds of body fat. So 200 pounds of body weight minus the, 200, uh, the 20 pounds of body fat equals 180 pounds of lean body mass. Really important uh, number here because the number of grams of protein for weight loss is going to be about 0.7 grams of protein. So. So the 0.7 grams of protein per 180 pounds of lean mass comes to 126 grams of protein per day. Now, we divide that 126 by seven because uh, it's seven grams of protein per block of food. So the 126 divided by seven comes to about 18. So now I know I need 18 blocks of food per day. So the 18 would be multiplied by seven, which is 126. 18 times nine, then of course the 18 times 1.5, uh, which I think the 18 would be what, 27 grams of fat per day. So those numbers make sense based on that 40% carbohydrate, 30% protein, 30% fat model. Now, so to divide this out over five meals, it's gonna be three meals at four blocks of food each, and then two snacks at three blocks of food each. So 12 plus six is gonna be the 18 blocks of food per day. So. Uh, so four times the, tw the seven would be 28 grams of protein. So four times nine is gonna be 36 grams of carbohydrate. And then four times one and a half is gonna come to six grams of fat per day. So now to give you an idea as to what's that gonna look, what that's gonna look like. So we have our chart for our, our favorable proteins, I'm sorry, for our proteins and our favorable carbohydrates here on the, uh, the printout. So, so it's gonna be four, four blocks times the protein. So these serving sizes are gonna give you the, uh, the amount of protein, the amount of carbohydrates, and then the amount of fat that you need to have per meal. So four times the seven is 28. So one, gram, uh, sorry, one ounce of beef is going to be uh, well, one, one block of protein, multiply that times four. So it'd be four ounces of beef. So four times seven would be 28 grams of protein per four ounces of cooked beef. So same thing for your chicken, same thing for your, fruit, uh, your seafood, anything that you wanna have, it would be four times this. So then you'd come over, and our rule, guys, is gonna be one starch, and then the rest of your blocks of carbohydrate being your, start, uh, uh, being your fibrous carbs. So if you're gonna do a, a sweet potato, which is gonna be your most ideal one, about the size of your fist would be your one block of, uh, of uh, uh, starchy carbohydrate, and then the rest of it would go through uh, with your fibrous carbs, things like broccoli, cabbage, any type of leafy green vegetable. So, and you guys, eat as much of those as you want. You can't overdose on green vegetables. So if you're hungry, eat a little bit more veggie. So, all right, so once you've got your, uh, your carbohydrates in place, then you're gonna come over to your fats, and let's just say that you were gonna do avocado uh, for it. So this particular athlete would do four tablespoons of avocado because one tablespoon of avocado is about one and a half gram of fat or one block. So four times the one and a half uh, tablespoons of avocado would be your six grams of fat. If you were doing something like almonds, it would be the four times three almonds because three almonds make up about one and a half grams of fat. So the four times three would be 12. And, uh, and I'll give you a practical application here in the next video. So, all right. Now, if you're a hard gainer, somebody who's trying to gain some size and strength, 
you would want to take this up instead of it being a 0.7, uh, 1.2 times whatever your grams of protein, and that would equal out on the grams of fat and grams of carbohydrates. Uh, if you, uh, for, uh, we, make, we recommend making small changes so that we understand and know what's influencing us and how much it's impacting us. Now, if you're a smaller athlete, I don't recommend going below the 13 blocks of food per day range uh, at the absolute lowest 12. A lot of females are gonna come in at 10 blocks of food per day, and that's just not enough food for most of them. So bump it up to 12 or 13 blocks of food per day if you're falling into that category. All right, talk to you soon.